This is John Cola with OKRod.com. Today I have another exciting episode for you. We're here at the Natural Product Expo West. This is the largest trade show for the health food industry. And I want to caution you for a second. You know, this is about the business of health, not necessarily about health. And there's a lot of products in packages that they're trying to sell you. And most Americans eat 50% of their calories from packaged foods. And if you're into raw foods, I want you to get the majority of your calories from fresh fruits and vegetables instead of packaged stuff. In any case, let's see some of the new products that they have at this year's Natural Products Expo. So now we're inside the trade show and there's just literally thousands of booths here and I'm only gonna share just a few select booths with you guys today. You know, products that I think are totally new, unique, and revolutionary. And actually a product that's really new to America but not new in the world are these guys right here. It's called Go Wild Australia. And what Go Wild Australia is doing, they're taking native indigenous foods to Australia that the indigenous peoples used to use and actually these are actually wild harvested from uh, you know nature and now making that available to people so what we're going to do next is actually go over some of these new foods to us that have been used for many years so the first thing I want to say about some of these foods is that you know besides just being a wild food that has been consumed for many thousands of years you know they've done a lot of research so this is uh, actually nutritional data for the Australian native foods that shows some of the properties, the antioxidant, anti-aging, and uh, nutritional benefits, you know, compounds in some of these cool foods. In addition, there's also further research about the health benefits of Australian native foods. Now, whether you live in Australia or the US, I always encourage people getting back to the roots, get back to what people ate a thousand years ago before we had all these hybrid foods and even worse, GMO foods. We want to get to be eating foods back found in nature and with this company, they allow you to do just that. Some of those foods found in Australia. And uh, let me go over the ones that I like a lot. So the first product that I like the most is the one right here. It's called that Kakadu Plum. It says the world's richest source of natural vitamin C. Now, unfortunately, you can't get the fresh plums here, but what they do is they do uh, take the plum, they powder them up and dry it out. Mm. And if you eat it, it kind of reminds you of tasting like vitamin C but like a nice kind of fruity, a little bit tart flavor. Now, for those of you guys that ever taste Camu Camu, this tastes like 10 times better than Camu Camu. And guess what? It even has more vitamin C than Camu Camu. So this is gonna be one of them up and comer, new superfoods gonna be on the market pretty soon. Besides the Kakadu Plum, some of the other unique wild foods they harvest are right here, the desert lime. And there's so many different kinds of little fruits. And you know, these aren't like, you know, the standard oranges that are really sweet you know wild and indigenous foods tend to be not quite as sweet and maybe not taste so good but guess what they're full of polyphenols phytochemicals and uh, nutrition that you can benefit from so on some of these foods how I'd like to use them is add a little bit to the smoothie to ensure that I'm gonna get those nutrients into my body from those foods now besides just the fruits they're also offering uh, basically dried leaves of special crops so let me show you those next so now we're going to talk about the uh, lemon myrtle and the lemon myrtle is basically a dried leaf powder and this has uh, the highest levels of citrol which is uh, one of the most antiviral compounds on earth so you know uh, the, the functionality or the functionality of these foods is definitely very valuable especially if you're trying to you know when they combat things like viruses you want to eat some of that stuff there next we're going to talk about this guy right here the anise myrtle so the anise myrtle has a strong and powerful compound called anethol and you know all these different foods whether it's these guys or ones that are even grown in your area that you can grow in your garden they have a plethora of different nutrients and this leaf is actually very high in antioxidants and antioxidants are the, are the things that are going to keep you guys younger. Now the last product that I'm kind of excited about is right here. This one's actually called the demon pepper. It's actually called the uh, scientific name is uh, Tasmania Lancy Lota. So remember, you know, with uh, what on the Roadrunner show they had the Tasmanian Devil. This is the Tasmanian Pepper or the Demon Pepper, like the Tasmanian Devil was a demon. Uh, this is the Demon Pepper because this these little seeds, which are actually uh, little fruits, are dried on the plant naturally, and then if you eat these guys, which I did yesterday, hmm, man, they light up your mouth like a little hot pepper. But you know what? Guess what? Every flavor compound is different phenolytics and different nutrients for you to eat. So if you want to add some spice to your life, has some demon peppers. Now, uh, besides offering the whole demon peppers, which is how I like to eat my foods in its whole natural state, they're also offering it in two more forms to get these nutrients in you. 
So in addition to having the whole demon pepper, they got the uh, demon pepper powder, which I always encourage you guys to actually buy your own whole demon peppers and grind them up yourself if that's what you want. But also they're making the uh, demon pepper leaf here actually that I haven't tried yet, so we're gonna try some of this stuff. Mm. Man, that's nice, hot, and spicy. I mean, imagine adding just, man, just a pinch of this to your, like, your salad dressing would light it up and give you some more uh, flavor components. Wow, it's actually <laughs> really hot on my tongue there. But also, you know, these foods like this, like the demon pepper actually is very high in quercetin, which may be like anti-inflammatory. I know people sometimes take quercetin for if you got allergies to suppress a little bit. Uh, the natural immune response. So if you're interested in learning more about these uh, Go Wild products from Australia, you guys gotta go to the website GoWildAustralia.com to learn more. Do so you guys know that this convention hall is filled up with uh, exhibitors here and a lot of them have to do with chocolate, but you know, uh, remember when you were a kid you'd go to the McDonald's like I did and you'd have either chocolate or vanilla shakes? Well, I love vanilla much more than I could ever love chocolate. Vanilla is one of my favorite flavors in the world. And it's really important to get a good quality vanilla. So actually I spent some detailed time here learning about vanilla that I'm now gonna share with you guys. We're here at the booth of uh, Tahitian Gold and they have uh, co some coconut oil that's raw, but also they have the vanilla. Not only do they have the vanilla extracts, uh, you know, which many of you guys still may use, I always encourage you guys to use the whole food in its whole and natural state whenever possible. And instead of the vanilla extracts, you know, we wanna get away from eating the fractionated foods and we wanna eat the whole foods. And I'm, happy to say that they have some high quality vanilla beans here. So next I want to show you guys the vanilla beans that they're offering. Over here they got the uh, Tahitian vanilla bean. So you know did you know that there are more than just one kind of vanilla bean? It's like you know you guys have like you don't just have apples you got Fuji apples, Granny Smith apples, you know Red Delicious apples. There's different kinds of vanilla beans. Not all vanilla is created equal. You know like one of my favorite apples is Fuji apples and these are the Tahitian vanilla beans. And then uh, next door, you know, these are also vanilla beans, but these are called the plenifolia beans. And here's the secret if you're into raw foods and eat, want and want to eat vanilla beans, you always want to get the Tahitian beans because why? Check it out. These guys are blanched when the drying process. So these guys technically cannot be raw. In addition, if you smell, this smells like vanilla, but it's kind of strong. If you smell this one, uh, it's like a nice light flowery aroma. In addition, another way you can't tell if you got the plantifolia or the Tahitian beans is that you know how flexible these are. These are dried to a lower moisture content so they're not quite as flexible and these guys, I mean these will literally like bend because they're a lot more flexible. They have higher moisture content and let me tell you another secret. The secret's all in the curing process, you know. The blanched ones are blanched and then, you know, they dry them and whatnot, but that's where all the intense flavors develop. These guys right here from the Tatitian Gold Company, you know, they basically uh, painstakingly dry these in the sun and then bring them in at night to keep the heat in because that's where all the flavor essences develop in these beans. That's what makes some of these the best beans in the world. Mm. And now the best way to use these beans, you know, because I know you guys have seen some of the raw food chefs on the YouTube and whatnot. They take the beans, they split it open, and they scoop out all the little caviar beans. When you do that, that's great because you're going to get some flavor in there. But you know what? You're losing 75% of the flavor in the beans if you're doing that because you want to use the whole bean. So the best way to use these, here's my secret tip right now. You want to get a Vitamix or a high power blender. You're going to blend up the whole bean with whatever you're making. And then maybe put the mixture through a nut milk bag to take out the fiber or pour the mixture through a juicer like I do when I make the coconut milk. And then you're going to get the full flavor and make sure you use high quality beans because that flavor punch is going to be that much more and you're going to taste that vanilla in there. So to sum it up, once again, you want to use the whole bean, blend it up, get the Tahitian beans, not the plantifolia. And now, you know, another new product on the market that many of you guys may have seen before is actually right next door. And this product is called the ground vanilla beans. Now these ground vanilla beans, while it is very flavorful, and you know, this is definitely a high quality product, it, you know, in most cases, it may not be a raw product. They actually do have to pasteurize this. So, you know, uh, this is a great convenient way to use the vanilla beans, but once again, I recommend buying the whole ones and grinding them in. Uh, you know, be weary of other uh, powders on the market because they may be pasteurized and not truly raw. And I want you guys to get back to nature and eat those fresh, and raw foods. So if you want to learn more about these Tahitian vanilla beans, you want to visit the website TahitianVanilla.com and guess what, I have a special treat. Uh, the owner of the company is going to present me with my own very Tahitian vanilla beans because I have been using 
the wrong kind of vanilla beans for all these years and I was just made aware of that. So, you know, I'm not perfect and when I learn something new, I want to share this information with you, but also I want to change my ways and eat some of the highest quality food on earth. Now we're with Manu, the owner of the company, and uh, he's going to present me some very own Tahitian vanilla beans. I'll be sure to have some upcoming episodes showing me using them and comparing them uh, with my planifolia beans. Thank you very much, John. Enjoy these. Sun cured perfectly for me. All right, thank you so much. So now I'm walking through the whole entire trade show trying to find some cool booths to show you guys. And you know, in my opinion, 99% of this trade show is about packaged bottled products. And you know, while I'm generally not a fan of packaged bottled products because health doesn't come in a bottle, it comes from nature eating the foods found in nature in their natural whole state. There are a few products that are still in their whole state but also there's some other products that I feel are very valuable, even if it is in a you know packaged bottle or pill, but you know, there's just a small amount. So what we're gonna do next, actually, we're gonna share one of those products that I believe in a lot. While I don't like too many products, there are a few I like, and one of them is right here. We're at the booth of Essential Formulas, and what they have here are some probiotics, and these are not just any probiotics. You know, a lot of probiotics here at the Natural Products Expo may be like a white crystalline powder, and made in a factory, in a lab. Well, the Dr. O'Hara's Probiotics 10 Plus is the one I personally take, and especially if I'm traveling, I always make sure I have some of these in my bag because if you get any kind of, you know, a st stomach upset, maybe eating some bad food or the bad water, Montezuma's Revenge, I just take a couple of these, and you know, by the next day, I'm totally fine. So what we're looking at here are some capsules, and yes, these are veg caps for those of you guys that only want to eat plant foods or no animal products, and these, uh, capsules here but what we're looking at is the probiotics and these are just not any probiotics made in a factory this probiotic here is basically 90 plus fruits and vegetables that they pick and harvest and then they ferment and inoculate with the special bacterial culture in Japan and this is fermented for years before they take it and put it in the little capsule so this is literally a fermented food with high probiotic capabilities and that's why I like this probiotic more than other probiotics being sold because it is Food based. So I've walked this whole entire show floor, which actually took at least a day and a half to cover all the different booths, but you know, I haven't found too many new booths to share any new products with you because you know, a lot of the stuff sold here are, you know, just basically fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds and things and packages, bottles and jars that are highly processed. And what I've learned after all these years of eating a plant-based raw foods diet is that you want to eat the foods as found in nature not in packages, balls, and jars. So actually one of my favorite booths is uh, right behind me here. It's actually called the Tribest. And Tribest makes healthy living easy by offering you guys the products that allow you to process your own fruits and vegetables, hopefully that you're growing in your garden at home and turn them into delicious smoothies or juices or even dehydrate them to store them for the winter. So uh, what we're gonna do is sh show you two of my favorite products at Tribest. So as you guys may know, I like the products that allow you to eat more fresh fruits and vegetables, not necessarily the products being sold in the majority of this room here that comes in packages, bottles, and jars. And just a few of them are, number one, I think a juicer is critical to own. Uh, this is the Green Star Elite Juicer. It's the best juicer to get the most juice and the highest nutrition out of things like carrots. And it will also juice leafy greens very well. Not necessarily too good at fruits, but I encourage you guys to juice your vegetables particularly because they have hard fibrous cell walls that unless you chew into a mush every single mouthful you're not going to get optimal digestion now the next product that tribest has that allows you to get more fruits and vegetables in you is right here this is the all new dyna blend blender this blender is 1.1 horsepower and it has a glass craft so unlike many of the other high power blenders that have a you know plastic craft this is glass so i like that a lot in addition this is a computer controlled, so it's a smart blender. You know, unlike many blenders in this price range, they don't have these features available. So besides having a variable speed control knob that you could turn up and down like a dial control on your volume control on your TV, it also has some pre-programmed features. It has a 60 second button for a blend, so you could press that, it'll run on high pretty much for 60 seconds, and then turn itself off so you do not have to babysit your blender. In addition, they have a 60 second combo blend, which will run for 60 seconds and vary from high to low speed and uh, give you a good blend in that way. 
And finally, they have the 30 second pulse blend. This is especially important for the last stage when blending your green smoothies, when you're adding something like bananas in your green smoothie, this will assure you that your bananas will not be over blended. This will blend high for like, you know, a second, then drop it to nothing, and then high for a second, drop it to nothing so that your bananas don't get over oxidized. So definitely recommend you guys get a juicer and a blender so that you can include more raw foods in your diet. Now, last but not least, they have the all new Sedona Combo Dehydrator. I will have a video on these brand new products soon on my other YouTube channel for discountjuicers.com. But the Sedona Dehydrator, you know, I always encourage you guys to eat your foods fresh. You want to have the foods as found in nature, whether they're juiced, blended, or eaten whole. But in the case like me, I'm a gardener. I grow a lot of my own food to make my own kale chips or, you know, tomatoes in the summer season. I like to dehydrate them or sun dry them which is what the dehydrator does. This Sedona dehydrator will dry the tomatoes out, take out the water content, which then you could later rehydrate in water so that you can eat them, you know, in the middle of winter time. I like to use my dehydrated tomatoes in recipes where I'm combining them with water-rich food, so I get the water, but I also get the delicious flavor of homegrown tomatoes in the winter. And that's how I use my dehydrator. I don't want you guys to like, you know, a UZ dehydrator substitute in place of fresh foods, but I think it's far better to use the dehydrator to substitute in dehydrated foods instead of heavily cooked and processed foods, you know. Especially, I do not recommend things like frying or microwaving your food. They're definitely the worst way in dehydration. If you do need to process and heat your food, that's probably one of the best ways. So hopefully after watching this episode, you learn more about some of the ways that I like to best include the health foods in my diet. And once again, they don't come in packages. They're fresh foods as found in nature, hopefully grown in your garden in mineral rich soil with compost and rock dust, uh, using your own juicer, blender, or just using your nature's given juicers, your teeth by chewing your food really well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Once again, my name is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. We'll see you next time. And remember, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables. They're the best.